Hello world, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something just a, really quickly. Uh, I've been going through and refactoring our code. I'm going to be doing an episode, that'll be the next episode, is just showing all the different refactors I've done. However, I wanted to create a very quick episode explaining how I fixed this float 2, float 3, float 4 deprecation issue. Because Apple decided that its SIMD platform needed to not use float 2, float 3, float 4 anymore. Instead what they use is SIMD two with floats and be, so they look like this, okay? So what we could do is throughout our entire application, all the code that we've written in the past, we could go and literally update each one. Like, so take this for instance, position float three. So instead we can go, instead of float three, we can go simd three float. And we can do that for every single one. So we can do simd four float. Now as, I, I just don't think that looks that beautiful. Personally, I freaking, I, I think float two, float three, float four looks fine. I'm sure they have the reasonings uh, for updating this and making float two, float three, float four deprecated. There's reasoning, I can't find it on the internet. If you find it, please let me know in the comments because uh, I am curious. Um, but to fix this, we don't have to go through regex our entire application, find all the, and replace them with that. And then continuing forward, use SIMD3 with that float angle bracket, we don't need to do that. Instead, what we can do is we can use something really nifty. So at the top of uh, metal types, we're gonna type out public type alias. And then I'm gonna say float two, and I'm gonna set float two equal to simd2 float. So what I've done is anywhere that I'm referencing float two in this, in my in my project, it, it means I'm using simd2 float. So, this will go through and edit every single one of the float twos. As you can see, texture coordinate isn't broken anymore. So all we have to do is copy that two more times, do float three, float four, float three, float four. Once I build, all of these silly little warnings go away and uh, our, pro our program's back to normal. Um, so some of you don't even care about this episode. This never actually happened to you. Some of you might've been following along and your code has all these errors. Some of you are from other areas who aren't even doing graphics programming and just want some sort of a fix because this is really annoying. And this is your fix. This is a nice little quick fix. Um, I think it's nice and classy. And as you can see, if I press play now, the code works exactly the same. Nothing's changed. Everyone's, everything's super sexy still. Super lit, okay. Yes. So in the next episode, we're going to be uh, talking more about refactoring the whole application because there are changes that I want to make. Um, but for now, that's what I'm going to leave you with. Thanks for watching. See you next time.